It's hard to believe it was 39 years ago. Oh, man. <laughs> Baiting it. Um, Carrie, my first film, I was lucky. A, fr a friend of mine, his wife, was the casting director on it. So she got me an audition for it, and I got it. It was, ama it was the first movie for a lot of us. And we just, it was just playing. We just had a great time. It took three weeks to shoot the prom scene. So there was lots of sitting around and we just had so much fun exchanging stories and bonding and, and just, we really became great friends from it. And, and I already had some friends who were in the film too. So that was, that was a lot of fun. You get to work with your friends. What better? What's better than that? It was interesting because she was, at first we thought she was a little standoffish. And then we realized, no, she's, she's in character because her character, Carrie, was different from the rest of the kids. And that was the way that she, she got into her character. Um, it was fun hanging out with Betty Buckley, who was the teacher, who was a great friend. She always had her little dog with her. John Travolta it was it was terrific, and Nancy Allen, Amy Irving, because we were we were all around the same age. It was um, it, like I say, it was the first film for a lot of us. We had no idea it was going to be a big film. It was just this low budget little horror movie, and we had no idea that it was going to turn into what it did. So uh, uh, and 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 the Academy Awards nominations that I got it. We, we were shocked. It was so much fun also um, going, when I first time I saw it, I went with a bunch of friends to a midnight show in Hollywood and to see yourself on the big screen like that and get laughs, <laughs> that was the best part. Uh, I played the beat in Carrie and um, I was originally gonna be the drummer at the prom in the band, the drummer in the band. And we got to the first day of shooting and Brian said, mm, I don't know about that. Now let's give you a camera. So I became the photographer. And uh, I don't know whose idea it was to give me the t-shirt the with the tuxedo printed on it, but it, it was a gift, believe me, because it made me different from everybody else in, at the prom. And uh, I had this hat, I still have the hat. Oh, I this is, this is the hat I wore and carried. There's even still some fake blood spots on here someplace. <laughs> this is my own hat. I got this. Uh, I got this at Famous Bar, and I don't know. I guess I wore it to the audition, and Brian, the director, said, "Yeah, keep it." So uh, it made me. It made helped me make the character, and uh, um, it was. A lot of fun. I was really lucky because uh, I worked on the film, I'd been released, I was done shooting, and then like a week later they called up and they said, Brian's come up with another scene, are you available? So I, that's where we got um, the tuxedo shop scene, which was all improvised, uh, and improv is what I do, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, just coming up with stuff. We had uh, um, a great time. Me and Bill Cat and Harry Gold were the three guys in that scene. We spent a lot of time together and really became great friends. So uh, it, it was a lot of fun. And pff, there it is, almost 40 years later. <laughs> Hard to believe that it's still playing. And uh, uh, it plays every Halloween on TV all over the place.